Hello Libra, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your next 48 hour love reading where we're going to take a look and see what messages want to come through regarding the person that you are thinking of and dealing with at this time. Please like, share, subscribe if this reading is resonating. Don't try to force this reading if it doesn't sound like it's for you. However, feel free to reverse the roles if you feel that I am speaking more to your energy here today. And um, there was something else I was going to say. Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> this will speak to um, this reading will speak to Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Librans out there. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's go in and just give a quick shuffle before we jump on in. I thought we would take a look at your person's overall energy or the overarching energy over the next forty-eight hours. And then we will unpack this reading using the Lightseer's Tarot here today. All right, strongest energy surrounding this person, Spirit. Show us the overarching energy when it comes to this person that Libra is connecting to. Oh, okay, so a couple of cards wanted to come through. Nice. What have we got here? We've got the Beaver and the Phoenix. Oh, I really love this combo. I love this combination and I'll tell you why in a, in a moment. The downward pointing triangle does represent water. So for some of you, you may be connecting to a water sign here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or they're coming through embodying those character, characteristic traits of those signs. With the Phoenix here, I do get air energy. So for some of you, you might be connecting to an air sign. But overall, I get with the beaver that there is someone here that wants to build... Um, a long-term future here with you. They want to build uh, more security and stability when it comes to your connection. I do get a sense here with this beaver spirit that this person has a, a wealth of emotion for you. Okay, I feel like their wealth might not be in their pocket, but I feel like when it comes to their heart, big massive heart for you. I do get a sense here that this person's emotions are starting to grow deeper and stronger here for you. And with the Phoenix rising, I'm getting a sense here that this person wants to, um, you know, like make the connection go or make the situation or make the relationship between the both of you go higher. Okay, I'm getting a higher love or a higher level of commitment coming in with the Phoenix and the Beaver spirit. And it's really, really beautiful. Um, whatever, if you've had any sort of difficulties or issues in the recent past, I do get a sense here that this person wants to rise above those and move forward because the beaver is all about building, building emotional security, building emotional stability, uh, building something long term here. And the phoenix is it's coming, uh, it's rising from the ashes. So it's like this sense of uh, moving on and up. Okay, so beautiful this is really beautiful i i like the energy that's coming through so we're just going to um leave those cards right here um for you to see and then we're going to expand using the tarot so if you are new here welcome libra i'm so glad that you found me and i really do hope that this reading offers you some insight and some clarity at this time and for those returning subscribers welcome back uh, it's really good to have you back here. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Let's dive on in. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra when it comes to this person that they are dealing with? Yeah, straight off the bat, guys, Ten of Cups. This person sees you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with, plain and simply. Look at this, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's really positive. I feel like there's positive movement forward in love um, or in this connection at this time. Okay, over the next 48 hours, you're going to see progress, progression coming through when it comes to this person. Look at this, King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I do get a sense here with this individual that there's a strong loyalty coming through with the King of Wands because I, I see Leo here very strongly and Leos are very loyal. Okay, this person is being heart led at this time. So they're following their heart, they're following their passions. You know, 
this person wouldn't be doing um, something that they don't want to do. This person only does what they f want to do, what they're most passionate about. And I do get a sense here because it's sitting next to the Ten of Cups that this is their priority right now. They want to move the relationship to the next level, okay? Or it's like they want to come in and they really want to show you a strong dedication and commitment to the relationship. Now, what I really love about the King of Wands is he's he's an action taker. He's driven. So you're going to see action, um, forward momentum, okay, forward movement coming in with this energy. Yeah, so there's a strong confidence and a determination coming in with this person. Okay, Spirit, what else? What else does Libra need to know when it comes to this person over the next 48 hours? What else does Libra need to know? Okay, so there's the Seven of Cups and there's the Queen of Swords. So if you've been feeling really confused about this connection or if you've been feeling really confused about, you know, where you stand in this person's eyes or life i want to say here with the queen of swords you're going to get your clarity this is air energy gemini libra aquarius so i'm getting a sense that this is you and uh, you're going to get the clarity you're going to get the answers that you're seeking here i don't feel like you have to do too much libra i feel like you just need to you know hang back just observe the situation and i feel like you're going to see this person step up with the queen of wands okay we've got the queen of cups here Again, I'm getting a sense that there's a stronger emotional tie or commitment um, that is occurring here with this individual. Again, look at this. There's a hierophant, major arcana for Taurus. Again, this is what this is the re phoenix rising energy that I'm getting here. Um, this person is wanting a higher level of commitment here with you. I do get a sense that this person is somewhat of a traditionalist. Okay. And like when they decide and when they settle down, um, they get very traditional and serious about matters. Uh, but otherwise, like the King of Wands can come across as an energy of a bit of, I want to say a bit of a flirt or a bit of a player. There's still, I mean, but a much more evolved version, of course. Um, but when they decide to bond with someone and settle down with someone here like there's a strong loyalty coming through so spirit what else does libra need to know when it comes to this person okay i'll take these two cards we've got the six of pentacles and the devil here let's have a look at the bottom of the deck we've got the two of wands two of wands Okay, so the Two of Wands is uh, feeling like um, someone is at a crossroad. I do get a sense here with this individual that you're dealing with, they're at some kind of a crossroad in their life. Um, but I feel that they're ready to make plans to move past this cross crossroad. The crossroad is speaking to this devil energy. We can see the devil is sitting underneath the King of Wands, could be dealing with the Capricorn here. Um, but the devil is... It's like this person needs to make a decision to leave the, you know, the toxicity or the bad habits in the past. So it is telling me here with the devil, because it is sitting underneath the king of wands, right? Um, that maybe this person had player-like ways. There might have been a player-like tendencies or player-like ways with this person. But with the two of wands, they're coming to a point now they either commit to you right which is that forward looking forward com coming in committing to my libra or continuing on this path of this player like energy but i'm not getting that because i mean we do have with the seven of cups it can speak to options around this person but we can see with the king of wands he's not looking at his options okay he's not looking at the other people that might be surrounding him this is someone who wants to build a life with you six of pentacles Okay, they want to pour into and invest in your connection, in your relationship. This is what they're going to be choosing. That's what I'm feeling like. This is, this is what they're going to be choosing. It's kind of like with the Phoenix here, the Phoenix spirit here, it's kind of like judgment day, like needing to make a judgment call, needing to make a decision that is going to catapult their life in a completely different direction. Spirit... 
I'm going to take um, the Four of Wands because that's what came out on top. We've got the Hanged Man here, so let's talk about him. This is someone who is getting a clearer perspective, okay, who's getting an elevated perspective on the whole, the overall situation, okay? This is like the big picture here. This person is seeing the big picture, um, which is the Ten of Cups. All right, let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so four of wands, four of pentacles, strong stability coming in. The four represents foundations uh, or a solid foundation here. Um, I feel like this person has already something like developed or built here with you. And I don't feel like with the four of pentacles that they're going to want to let that go. Okay, they want to continue pouring into and investing into this relationship. Okay, we can see here with the Four of Wands, this is a, a celebration. Uh, we can see two people sort of celebrating, uh, achieving a milestone here or um, celebrating a, a successful moment in this connection. It could be like maybe moving in together or it could be, you know, making this relationship exclusive. But I, I feel like the foundation is solid here. So it's a successful, solid um, foundation is what I'm getting here. And there's, there's success around that. Okay, again, there's the Ace of Swords, which to me, it's a breakthrough. It's a victory. Ace of Swords. This is incoming truth. Okay, um, I feel like this, uh, this has been on this person's mind for quite some time. Okay, um, but I, overall, I'm getting a breakthrough energy. There's the Page of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, but this is an energy of someone who is committed. Yeah, look at that, Knight of Pentacles. It's slow moving. It's slow moving energy. Maybe it's been a bit slow to start off with, um, but we can see here with the Page of Pentacles progressing into the Knight of Pentacles, we've got lift off, we've got movement. and there you have it. There's the judgment card, which is that Phoenix rising. Okay. Major, major, major call here. A major call is being made. This person's um, making a huge judgment call here. Okay. Which involves your future together. So there's your reading. Uh, Libra, I do hope you found this insightful and helpful. Let me know in the comments section below if I mentioned the sign of your person here today. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye for now.